Here you go, CW. This is for you. Special delivery. You done effed it up now. Oh, you done messed up now, bro. All right, so Damon is my favorite character on this show. I'm going to just start off by saying that. And this ending, well, it made me very upset. It made me very upset. They put... They did everything they possibly could do to make sure Damon and Elena did not end up together. Okay, they put all these obstacles in their path. And now it looks like they put death as the final unpassable obstacle. Really? Ugh. Okay. So I actually went on a rant like two episodes ago. I'm not about to have that rant again about how Damon is so important to the show and why I think he's very important to the show and he's very essential in this. The show would not be the same without him. And the way they made his death, it was very different from death, Stefan's death. Stefan's death was quick, fast, caught off guard. No no orchestra playing in the background. No flashing lights, you know, none of that. All right. And But this one, they did all that. They had the orchestra. They had the lighting. They had the final moments, the final speech. <sighs> I hope it's not final, man. Um... <laughs> Oh, the whole dynamic of the show is going to change, man. Uh, but Bonnie, Bonnie's going to, but Bonnie, you know, she's been there. She's done that. You know, she's been talking about that for like the past four episodes. So we kind of knew that was coming. Like, okay, Bonnie, we, we, we heard some, we got some warning about that. Damon was just like, hey, mm, Delane is dead. Here you go. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Uh, let's start from the beginning, man. Um, uh, by the way, <laughs> I'll be forgetting what to introduce myself. My name is Trey. Welcome to Trey TV. This is my view for Vampire Diaries, season five, episode. What episode is this? Episode twenty-two, the season finale for episode five. Up in here, uh, and bear with me, guys. Season finales are actually difficult to talk about because there's so many things that go on. It's hard to remember everything that I want to actually touch base on so bear with me okay so mm, i'm still kind of sour about the ending real sour about the ending but so continuing where we left off last episode we have uh stefan laid out on the couch face super pale veins on his face and caroline still there weeping over his dead corpse uh damon and elena step on the scene and damon is just in disbelief he just can't believe this uh He's at the point round. he's ready to kill, destroy whatever he sees, actually threaten Bonnie's life because her plan kind of falls through. But then Enzo comes through with his half-baked plan and looks like they put it together last minute. We got Stefan still dead. He's on the other afterlife. He's looking upon Bonnie, looking at everybody else. And, you know, uh, he's being whisked away into the darkness, man. I know the ladies got scared. They're like, no, Stefan, please. But, <laughs> but who do we have, man? Our old pal... Lexi, man. Lexi showed up, man. That was nice. Nice surprise, man. Lexi getting old, though, man. You see her? <laughs> Lexi getting old. <laughs> but, you know, people can't stay young forever, man. I understand that. But, yeah, um, Lexi made an appearance, man. It was very nice to see her. Also, another surprise guest, Silas. I did not see that coming, man. Silas really rearing his ugly head once again, okay? I thought he was done for. <laughs> Stefan would not be too happy about that. You know, he had a he wasn't too friendly with Silas towards the end there. Um, but yeah, Silas, he actually doesn't make it out. His plan doesn't come through like he wants it to. He gets whisked away into the darkness, never to be seen from or heard from again. Hopefully, okay? Uh, <clears throat> another thing, uh, Caroline, oh, she was she was taking up prisoners, man. She killed Liv's brother. That shocked me, man. She just It was just so fast. It was just like, oh, hey, here's your brother. Oh, hey, he's dead now. You got no choice but to help us out. Nice, man. I like Caroline when she's like that. When she's serious, when she's fierce. Yeah, that's I like Caroline like that. Um, and when y'all think about Caroline and Stefan hooking up, man, that's been hinted out before. You know, they got great chemistry on camera. And um, maybe they could take a step further from friendship to actually, you know, girlfriend and boyfriend. I don't know. Um, Mystic Falls have become an anti-vampire, anti-witch zone, okay? Only people who can perform any kind of supernatural powers are travelers, okay? They have a barrier set around it, and uh, they actually show a demonstration of what would happen if a vampire or a hybrid enters that area, okay? Um, so, Julian, 
I was actually pleased by his death, okay? From what he did to Stefan, oh yeah, he deserved that. He really did, all right? So I wasn't hurt by that, and I don't, I don't like Tyler Lockwood too much either. So either way, <laughs> both of them, you know, whatever. Uh, so it wasn't, uh, I was kind of shocked by it. Sheriff Forbes actually taking a more, a, a, a bigger role in this season finale, okay? getting the travelers together. She was very, without her, this whole thing would have fell apart, man. It was nice to see her actually incorporated back into the show. So the gang has everything they need to basically get this plan started and start bringing people back to life. We got Liv over here who now knows the spell thanks to Silas uh, who's going. Bye bye. And we got Gate Bonnie over here being the gateway, okay? Uh, not telling everybody that this could potentially kill her, but uh, we see that later on. And we also got the mass murdering of the travelers in their society, okay? They're up in there, you know, popping bottles and stuff right there, getting blown to bits, all right? Uh, that whole thing with Damon actually taking out the travelers was pretty nice, man. I really enjoyed that scene uh, when him and Elena got into the car together and Elena's like, you know, I respect your decision, but you know, they, I didn't say I wasn't coming with you. And then they ride into town and they slowly start dying themselves in the car. That, that was nice, man. I mean, it was a nice tragedy, I guess I could say, because I'm pretty sure it's better to die with someone you love than by yourself and alone. Guaranteed, okay? Now, one thing that didn't make no sense though, how was Jeremy able to survive in Mystic Falls, okay? Jeremy, I know he's just a hunter, so they say he loses the stream. They did bring that to my attention, but he was brought back to life by magic. So shouldn't that life be forfeit now that all the magic that was brought that brought him back to life is dissolved as well? So correct me if I'm wrong if you guys know what I'm talking about, but on the other side, we have a lark making his appearance. All right. A nice surprise from him. Everybody's coming together with Bonnie. I'm surprised the travelers did not jump Bonnie. Okay. Get to this woman body. Like they should, they should have been like full sprinting over there to Bonnie. Like, oh, we getting back to where we was. We had everything good, man. Shoot. I ain't finished my drink back at the bar. <laughs> and, uh, on the other side, Damon actually discovers that Sheriff Forbes was caught in the blast, but somehow she survived. Everybody else. Everybody else died, but the human survived. Really? All right. So Cheryl Forbes, I guess she was in a uh, safe blast zone or something. I don't know how that happened, but I'm happy to see that Cheryl Forbes didn't die. You know, uh, Marcos was kind of, you know, smelled a hint of something going on, something foul going on. And he wasn't, he was pretty suspicious of her. And, you know, Marcos overall as a, as a season finale villain, mm, he didn't do it for me, man. I really liked that. Uh, that kind of confrontation, that physical confrontation that our characters have with our main villains. And we kind of missed out on that with Marcos being just blown up and just be taken out like that. Uh, <clears throat> but he does try to make one last pass at Bonnie in the, uh, on the other side, but that doesn't work out because Lexi's there to save the day. All right. Pushes Marcos into oblivion and he is no more. Now, Liv's brother, I don't know his name, but he passes through, I think, first or very early on. And I'm just like, what the hell? People, that is the person you definitely need to keep for the last man standing, okay? Uh, they should have held him back or something because him coming to the other side, Liv had no incentive to do the spell anymore. She could have stopped right there and everybody would have been stuck. So I was just like, what y'all doing? You know, leave leave him over there, okay? Tie him up or something to a tree, okay? We got to get everybody over here, man. Uh, so Liv's brother, he really screwed things up. He's responsible for what happened to Damon too. Pissed at him, pissed at him before, but even more mad at him now. One interesting development that happened um, was when Tyler came back to life, came back through Bonnie, he was no longer a hybrid. He was just a regular human being, which is, it was kind of interesting. And it does make sense because he kind of reverted back to his human state before he died. Now, uh, does that mean Elena is now a human too? Because she also went inside that barrier zone and she died too. Now, I may it may be depending on how you died in that zone, okay? She didn't have a chance to fully, I guess, uh, die because she was reverting back to being human, aka dying because the vampirism wore off. I think she died because of the explosion and because of that, she is still a vampire. But that's something to debate. That's something we could talk about until uh, next season comes out. What do you guys think about that real quick? Is vampire, is she a human or is she a vampire? That wasn't really touched on at the end. We don't really know. Um, 
when uh when Elena finds out that Damon is stuck on the other side and man, she is just weeping. She is crying. Uh I actually felt very sad for her. Nina the Brove, you know, she acted her butt off right there. Uh and they and they had the music playing. The music the music was playing at the perfect moment, man. Uh, you know, I don't just like rap. I like all kinds of music, okay guys? Uh so if anyone knows the name of that track that played, cause I don't know, that they just played it at the perfect time. Let me know the name of that track, man. I'll probably go download it right now <laughs> and put it on a nice sad face, like, oh <laughs> Okay. Uh and then like uh the the final the final scene with Damon and Bonnie. Ah, that was a lovely scene. A lovely scene, all right? Bonnie was looking epic, man. She was just like, man, yeah, it's coming. I knew this was coming. I had, now she had time to prepare herself, man, but she was looking like a badass. She's like, man, it, it is what it is, you know? Just looking distance, like, yeah, I'm ready. And uh, they're, they're both holding hands, you know? Even the most opposites attract when they're facing sure death okay sure the final scenes man because you know bonnie and damon they really hate each other okay i mean they have no love for each other they actually comment on that uh and then we see the white lights and that is the end of season five for the vampire diaries man i don't like it <laughs> But it was like it, it did pull at the heartstrings. I'll say that it pulled it. It pulled at the heartstrings. If that's what they were going for, they accomplished that, man. But the final result still left a sour taste in my mouth. <laughs> uh, and if you want to check out my rant, my two-minute rant about why I think Damon is important to the show, you can check it out right here in this annotation. Okay, I got this set up for you guys. See what the hell I'm talking about. And uh, if you enjoyed this video all together, go ahead with a thumbs up. And subscribe for more uh, Trey TV in the future. Vampire Diaries re-emerging his head. Definitely renewed for season six. Uh, don't know where they're going to go from here or what's going to happen. Maybe some characters may change due to the death of Damon Salvatore. Some characters may change. And um, I know a lot of fans are pissed, man. Some fans like me are pissed. If you are pissed about what, what just happened, uh, yeah, I definitely hear comments below, man. We can share our like-minded pissivity, okay? But that's all I got to say, guys. Trey TV, and I'm out of here. Peace out.